Today I'm going to be doing a side by side comparison of Hornady's lock and loaded ultrasonic cleaner. The one in front of you is their 7 liter ultrasonic and the one over here to the right is their 9 liter ultrasonic. This one retails for about $460 where the smaller unit goes for $320. In addition to purchasing the unit, you're going to have to buy the, the gun solution. Well, this one here is the gun parts solution. If you want to clean brass, you have to purchase another one of these for $20 for the brass cleaning solution. Another thing to think about is shipping costs. If you don't do your research and you just go out and purchase one of these units, you're going to pay out the nose for shipping on these. But if you shop around on the interweb, you'll be able to find that uh, you can get these things shipped for free. I purchased this one about a year ago. I got free shipping on it. I purchased this larger one last week or two weeks ago. I got free shipping on this one too. So in the link below, I'll, uh, I'll put what, what company I used where I got free shipping. So hopefully after this video, I do the side-by-side -side comparison, pros and cons of the larger and smaller unit. You'll have a better idea of what unit is the right unit for you. Okay, we're going to start with the the small ultrasonic here and see what it comes with. So first unit, what you get is a power cord, a small parts bin, and a basket. Okay, what comes with the large unit is four of these suspension cords, and I will show you how these work in a minute. Power cord, a small parts bin, which this bin on the larger unit is a lot smaller than the parts bin on the smaller Hornady unit here, as you can see. Same depth, just the small unit comes with one that's a lot longer. And a basket. And again, this basket is smaller than the basket that comes on the small unit. also comes with a drainage hose. So pretty much the same uh, for both units. This is the digital control panel. This is on the large unit. It's on the face of the unit on the right hand side. You have your time. There's three bars here that indicates the heat. It has your temperature. This right here, this timer, this 340, and that little bottle, that's your solution timer. So that you can set that timer here. So when you put in new solution, you know how long that solution um, has been running for. You have over here, which says degas and normal. Change your function button over here, degas, normal. You have a heater button, which is here. You can see the little flames indicates the heaters on on this machine and then your on off button there so your temperature gauge here goes up and down your timer goes up to 30 minutes so this is your digital control um, panel on the larger unit for the smaller unit the digital control panel is on top of the unit and it's basically, it is, it's not, not even basically, it is, it's the same exact buttons. I mean, they're in a different configuration, but it does the same exact thing. This unit and the larger unit, same exact thing. You have your heater there, you can hear it turn on. Your function from degas to normal, your on off. Your solution timer, the two buttons here and here. 
and then your timer which also goes up to 30 minutes. So for both units, the, uh, the digital control panel are exactly the same. There's no difference in between the two units. So the larger one has a little more features than the smaller one does. The smaller one just basically has a big area where you can put your brass or gun parts in. Um, you can have, you can take out that basket and put the small parts container in there and it can do a handgun or a bolt or multiple handguns. Um, and then you have to lift this basket up. I'll show you. You lift this basket up here. Like so. And now when you have your guns in here, the guns can drip dry or your bolt and you can have multiple handguns in this basket and multiple handguns you can run at one time or if you just have one handgun you can just fill up this one container take the basket out and put this one container in and put one or two handguns in and it'll get the job done now the larger unit you could do probably a small handgun here and uh, I should have another view um, of a handgun or two inside this small parts container so you can really see the size. And again, this has a basket. Um, it doesn't it doesn't stand up like one in the small unit. This one just comes in and out uh, to drip dry. If you want to take the gun out, you're going to have to put it over here, which is a little, a little shelf or a little table. You put the gun here, or the parts, and they can drip dry. They have another one over here. You can do the same thing. Put a gun or your brass inside these holes. The water will collect on the side here, and then drip through this hole. So there's a slight difference, um, but it, essentially it's doing the same exact thing. You run your gun, it's wet, and then you have to dry it. You're either going to pull the basket up in the smaller unit, or with the larger unit, you're going to place the gun parts on these trays. And you can see how big the tray is, the size of my hand. Okay, so as far as handguns or brass goes, that's pretty much, they're pretty much exactly the same. Okay. Okay, this is where the two machines really d become different from each other. Okay, this is the larger machine, as you can tell. And it does fit a full size upper AR-15 style rifle. And these are the four suspension cords that I was telling you about. You need to put these on so the gun actually doesn't sit on top of the metal here, which could actually damage the gun. They're also good because if this had an optic on it, you could you could figure out the water level over here and where your optic sits. So you could have these. Um, raise up a little bit so you're not submerging your your optic so you can kind of mess around with it the water level and these suspension cords um, so you don't take your optic on and off and have to reset in your gun but um, as you can see this one here fits a full-size AR-15 upper in it um, the other the other one you're not you're not even getting the lower receiver inside that and um, by the looks of it I mean you probably could put a smaller handgun here on the side and get a you know clean a small handgun and the upper receiver at the same time but uh they pretty much you're just doing one cycle with the upper and you have to do one cycle with the lower just to show you that you could do two lower receivers at the same time so if you're shooting uh, multiple AR type style rifles at the range and you come home and clean two lower receivers will uh, will fit in here and you will be able to clean them at the same time you just have to make sure uh, you know none of them, they're not laying on each other or touching each other like I said earlier the small parts bin in the smaller ultrasonic is larger than the small parts bin in the larger ultrasonic. 
you can see here I have a full size Glock and that full size Glock would fit in a small parts bin. So you could fill this larger area with water and fill this area, this small area with the water solution combination. So you wouldn't have to fill all this up with all the water solution combo. You could just do it in a small parts bin, which is nice if you're only shooting one or two guns um, that you want to clean. Now I move over to the larger one. Here's the small parts bin that comes with the larger unit. It barely fits a 38 Special. I mean, you, you would take the grip off, but it barely fits this 38 Special. Here's a AR-15 bolt. I mean, I would, I would take this off, take that out, but that's all you're fitting is, is the bolt. A charging handle. I mean, it's not very big at all. It's really, really for small parts. Here's a Glock, Glock 19. For size comparison, that's all you're fitting compared to over here. I could fit two. So, like I was saying earlier, that if you had some, after you, you run, you run this through, you would put your your small parts over on these trays here. So this would this would get broken down. It would sit like so, and you could let it drip dry. Also on this side, you can put your parts here and let them let them drip dry. So that's what these are for. This tray comes completely off um, and you can just push it away. This tray over here, it actually slides to the left and it also can be taken off. Comparing the inside of these machines, this here, that rectangle, that rectangle, and that rectangle, this one has four heat heaters or heating elements. You have one, two, three, four transducers. A smaller unit has three heating elements, one, two, and three, and three transducers. Boom, boom, and boom. And as same with the other one, the uh, the drain hole. So you can kind of see the size of this bin compared to the size of this bin where you can fit the full AR-15 upper into it. And if you have multiple handguns, you can put multiple handguns in here and clean all your parts at once. So there's a small parts bin, the small basket that comes with the large machine, the larger parts bin, and the larger basket on the smaller machine. Um, if you're planning on cleaning brass with these machines, then you may want to go with the smaller machine. Um, but if you have an AR-15 you want to clean, you're going to want to go to the larger machine. Um, it's basically going to boil down to money. You know, if you have enough money um, to buy this machine, the larger one, you're not going to be disappointed. It does the same exact thing as the smaller machine, except you can fit an AR-15 upper. But if you're not an AR guy, and you're just a handgun guy and want to clean your brass, this the smaller machine is going to be the machine for you. So I hope this video helped you out a little bit, um, showing you kind of the what each one has and they're very similar it just comes down to size and money so if you like this video like if you like the videos I'm putting out subscribe if you have any questions at all about either machine something that I may have overlooked or didn't say or missed um, put it in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get back to you thanks for watching